Um, obviously, the, the sort of high point of your working was with, with Ronald Reagan, that he understood what you were trying to do. Um, and when you explained the Laffer curve to him, um, and then you worked with Donald Trump explaining the same thing. And that's been quite successful, hasn't it? Trump's tax reforms have had a very beneficial effect on the US economy. They've been amazing. And by the way, I also worked very closely with Lady Thatcher and all of her tax uh, uh, epi uh, episodes as well. So uh, I just love the British economy and wish we could do better. Well, I was hoping we could do that last year when Liz Truss was briefly prime minister, but um, it didn't, didn't quite go that way. How does this compare with Bidenomics and what the American economy is doing at the moment? Well, it is very similar now, unfortunately, as uh, the prime minister. I mean, what your policies are, are trying to be much more woke and much more socially uh, oriented. Uh, the one I wished had become in terms of the, the chancellor would have been Kwasi Kwarteng, who's a dear friend of mine and who is clearly the best on economics anywhere. He's just wonderful. But that wasn't to be. And, uh, you know, I work with uh, I work with Trump, those bills. I mean, the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act worked perfectly. It, it paid for itself quickly. It, in fact, it led to an increase in revenues. It led to a reduction in poverty of all the impoverished groups, the poor, the minorities, the disenfranchised. Uh, it led to exceptional growth as well. Uh, that bill worked wonderfully under Trump, just the way it did under Reagan. I mean, uh, the first bill we had in 1981, and then, the, then we had the 1986 Tax Act, which, you know, under Reagan, we cut the highest tax rate down from 70% to 28%. We cut the corporate rate from... 46% to 34%. I mean, we really did amazing cuts. The capital gains tax rate came way down as well. We went from 11 tax brackets to two tax brackets. I mean, it was an amazing thing and it, and it just worked wonderfully in the US. And by the way, uh, it could still work wonderfully in Britain if only you put it through. I mean, Thatcher dropped the highest rate, if I remember correctly, the, the highest recorded uh, tax rate in Britain at that time was something like 98% before she came in. And, I think we've reduced it down to about 40%, 40p. And then, of course, uh, you got Brown or popped it from 40p to 50p, and all hell broke loose and ruined the economy. And then you dropped it back to 45. But it should be much lower.